animating the mouth and eyes. Sometimes you want to use the picture's eyes and mouth, but sometimes you want to add custom features. Here I'm adding some nice blue eyes. The eyes have a number of different settings you can change, and they will look more dynamic when your character blinks or looks to the side than using the image's eyes. The same goes for the mouth. Again, you will have to play around with mouth styles and settings to get the teeth to look like they fit in the character's mouth. This will require a little trial and error, certainly, but you do want to get them to fit as much as possible. Finally, you get to choose how forcefully the head moves. In my experience, cranking the head motion strength 100% is sometimes not a good idea. There's too much distortion of the image when the head twists violently. You also get to choose the idle motion, which is what your character will express by default when not speaking or acting according to another emotive. Again, you will need to preview these settings before moving forward. Thankfully, you can always go back to the menus and change the settings if you find that something doesn't look quite right.